you may get just one question based on probability in GMAT, but it will be used extensively in your MBA curriculum. Let's jump in. Probability is a term that we often hear in our day-to-day -day lives. For example, they say that the probability of rain is, let's say, 30% today. Or we say that the probability that he will visit us is quite low. So what is the meaning of this term probability? It means uh, it is given by okay number of outcomes in which A occurs upon the total number of outcomes which means, for example, in case I want to find the probability of getting heads when I throw a coin. Now, assuming it is a fair coin, uh, there are only two outcomes possible when I throw a coin. They are heads and tails. So now the probability of getting one of those two outcomes is one upon the total of two. So this is my favorable outcome. This is the outcome in which I get heads. And the total number of outcomes is two. That is, I could either get heads or I could get tails. So this is how we calculate probability. So we say probability of getting heads on a toss of a coin is half, is 50% or 0.5, various ways of writing the same thing. Now, probability of, let's say, getting a six when I throw a die, right? There are now there are how many total uh, possible events, total outcomes? Um, total outcomes are six. What are they? I could either get a one or a two. Uh, um, again, I'm assuming I'm throwing a fair die. There are total six possible outcomes over here from one to six. Now, what is the probability that when I throw it, I'll get a six? My favorable outcome is only one, which is the which is the phase six. And total number of outcomes are six. Then what is the probability that I'll get an even number when I throw a die? Now, again, there are six possible outcomes, one to six. How many of them are even? This is even, this is even, and this is even. So three outcomes are even. So how many favorable outcomes do I have? Three. And how many total outcomes do I have? Six. So again, probability of giving, getting an even number on throwing a fair die is half. So this is how we calculate probability. Now, there are some terms associated with these various events. Where, um, you know, when we have two events, A and B, one, they could be independent events. What does that mean? So for example, the probability that I'll get an even number when I throw a die, right? And let's say A is an event that I'll get an even number when I throw a die. And B is the event that it will rain today. Now, is there any connection between the two? They are independent events, right? One does not affect the other. If it rains today, it does not increase or decrease my probability of getting an even number. If I get an even number, it does not change the probability of raining. So these two are independent events. So then when we have independent events, the probability of A and B, that is both the events take place. Probability of A and B is given by PA into PB. Why? I'm saying that PA takes place and PB takes place, right? So then I multiply their probabilities. So then, for example, in case I'm given uh, that the probability of it raining today is 0.3, yeah, 30% that is, or I can write it as 3 by 10, whatever, into what is the uh, probability of getting an even number when I throw a die? We just discussed it as half, or I can write this as 0.5. So the probability that both will happen, that it will rain today, and that when I throw the die, I'll get an even number is 0.3 into 0.5, which is equal to 0.15. So this is a probability that both the events will take place. Keep in mind, this happens when we're talking about independent events. Because all pairs of events, they needn't be independent. For example, we could have mutually exclusive events. What are they? So say there are two events. Events are like A is that it will rain today. yeah, And B is that I'll 
go to the park okay so if it rains today then i'm not going to go to the park right it'll be all all very muddy so i wouldn't want to go to the park right so then these are mutually exclusive events if it rains then i'll not go to the park if it doesn't rain then perhaps i'll go to the park it's not essential that i will but then um i might right so then the probability that both a and b will occur that is it will rain and i will go to the park is zero because as i said i will not go to the park in case it rains so these are called mutually exclusive events yeah if one happens the other will not happen okay <clears throat> then we have complementary events complementary events are also mutually exclusive if one happens the other does not happen but there is an additional feature that they take care of all the total cases so for example what we mean is that p a is the event that it will rain today and p a dash is the event that it will not rain today of course at one time only one thing can take place either it can rain today or it may not rain today right both cannot happen that it will rain and it will not rain that doesn't make sense right so pa and a dash is equal to zero that both will not happen one of these will happen and together either it will rain or it will not rain will take care of all the cases now in a day only these two things can happen there is no third thing right either it will rain or it will not rain so they take care of the entire universal set right so then the probability of the, the sum of their probabilities is given by 1 that is let's say if it will rain today we said that there is 30% probability that it will rain today so i say pa is 0.3 then what is pa dash that it will not rain today that is 0.7 simply so that is why the two of them will add up to give a one that is one is the the complete uh, probability the yeah the complete event right what the comp all the list of all the possibilities the combination of all the possibilities that is what one is so then either it will rain or it will not rain they have to add up to give me a probability of one so keep these points about independent events mutually exclusive events and complementary events in mind you may not be given these terms as such you might need to figure out the relation between two given events